Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Hawaiian Springs water. Next up is True Alka water. So what these two waters have in common is they have their labels sideways for some reason. They also have a high pH level. And they are both waters that I discovered on a trip. The Hawaiian Springs water was on a trip to Michigan with my girlfriend. The True Alka water was on a trip to Utah about a year and a half ago with my family. So these were both transported back. Actually, the True Alka I originally bought in a big one gallon container. It was a year and a half ago, so I eventually drank it all and uh, used it in multiple reviews. And then I had to buy more of this in uh, a smaller bottle online for this review. This was uh, $20 for a six pack. I think the shipping was free, which is cool. For, for an online purchase of water. And this is from a grocery store in Michigan. I don't remember what I paid for it, but these are both very, very, very good waters. This is round five of the water comparison series. If you're new to, if you're new to the, the whole water comparison chart bracket thing, that's a big deal. This is only the third round five video we've done. And then after this, there's only one more video in the brackets and that's it. So this is the second to last water comparison review thing ever. So here we go. The Hawaiian Springs water has a red thing on the label. In the past reviews, I've messed this up multiple times of what this is. I said it's coral reef. I said it's like, I don't know. A plankton or something. I, I messed it up multiple times in the past. What this is, is a red Lahua blossom. So that's what it is. It's like a flower or some kind of plant. It's a blossom thing from Hawaii. And uh, it's not coral reef. I've, I've mixed it up multiple times in the past. Multiple people have corrected me and I'm finally setting the record straight. It's a red Lahua blossom. The Hawaiian Springs water is filtered through lava rocks, which is pretty cool. And this is a water that's deep down from deep inside the earth, which is generally a kind of water I, I like. I tend to just like the taste of waters like that. This is a award-winning, a gold award-winning water from the Fine Water Society. And this water has silica, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. And then the true alka water is purified water. It's not a spring water. It's purified water that is infused with electrolytes. And they say it's like a dance, a ballet of water. That's what we really wanted. Something that tasted of the earth's elements, had synergy, an amazing balance, yet was true, true, to our love of water. Water that would touch every single cell in your body in amazing ways. You'll never imagine water that would become your life force. Really. Wonderful tasting water. Water you'll love to drink because it's powerful. It has a depth and taste that's smooth and pure. I'm kind of annoyed <laughs> that they misspelled both words. <laughs> like, why do that? Why not just do true with an E on the end, or just spell out Alka all the way. But anyway, um, and the label's a little different than the original bottle I reviewed. Maybe they changed it, or maybe it's just because it's a smaller bottle, but anyway, that's all I have to say about them. I'm just going to do a taste test now, and we're going to pick a winner. So here we go. They both feel like a similar thickness of plastic, and um, here we go. Very good. Very, very good. Good. <laughs> okay. Here is the Hawaiian Springs water. I should say more than that. Like, saying it's very good doesn't give you any information about the water. Let me do that again. It's kind of like a heavier water. Low TDS. But it's very good. Very clean and very pure. The Hawaiian Springs water... 
oops, I should drink it this way. Dang, that's really good. Very clean and pure. It's a, it's a wet water. It's um, no bad aftertaste at all. And I can tell this is a kind of water where if I drink a ton of it, I'm not going to feel like, you know, I'm not going to have an upset stomach. I'm not going to feel bad. I can tell it's a good, good water like that. It's, this is a kosher water. I kind of wish I bought more of these on my trip. I only have a couple more left. Cool thing about this is on their website, you can buy like pH enhancement stuff on their website. So you can use regular tap water, I guess, and just increase the, the pH level of your own water. It's a, I think it's called pH concentrate. Or you can buy it this way. And if you look on the inside, you can see it's, a, it's actually a double-sided label, but it's very subtle. There's some uh, bubbles on the inside, which are not on the outside. It's like a very subtle thing, but it's like a neat added touch. It would probably cost them an extra penny or something to do that, but it's nice that they, you know, put the thought into even the back of the label. This is very tough. They're both getting thumbs up. Both getting two thumbs up for me. Yeah, 5,000 was the first time we reached round five, and it was like a huge deal. And now this is the third time we're doing it. Like 5,000, I spent like a ton of money on like huge posters and stuff and like <laughs> did like these special editing effects and put a lot of thought into episode 5,000. Um, and now this one I kind of just put <laughs> like 30 minutes of kind of research and planning and stuff into this video. So it's like less of a big deal, even though it's the second to last one. But it's still, it is a big, significant part of the chart, though. Because there's been hundreds of hours of, you know, videos building up to this moment of these two waters. So, I mean, you guys have been leaving comments, like, anticipating this, this moment, this video, of which one will be the winner. So it is a big deal. I, I'm not just taking this lightly. one is moving on to the top three waters. The winner is Hawaiian Springs. Um, it's just right now, going back and forth, just tastes a little bit better, a little cleaner, a little bit more pure. This close though. If you have a chance to try either of these, definitely do it. But right now I'm liking the taste of this. And uh, I like that it's a spring water. I like that it's... Uh, bubbling up from underground. I like that it's from Hawaii. I like uh, the design of the bottle, except for it being sideways. I don't like that. I wish they would have just put the text like this, but... But this review is on the taste, so... Alright. In episode 9000, this will return, and we're going to decide the final winner. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.